Good news everyone! Today I'm bringing you the new video about how to use your outline for iPad with most of its potential. Okay, first let's open all the notebooks. Mm, check that you're logged in your Cloud Storages accounts. I have the same three notebooks that I've shown you in the video about uh, the outline for Mac. Um, okay. I don't like having the local notebooks because I don't know where I would need to look up some of the information I have. Uh, well, while waiting the notebooks to open, let's arrange the use guide. I don't like this additional notebook being here. So delete the pages you don't want and move the section so you can move it with the cut and paste. Okay, the Cut the section and paste it to another notebook. Quite easy. Uh, okay, yeah, paste. Moving, moving right. Now you can delete this notebook you don't want. Uh, whoops. Mm -hmm. Okay, stop syncing. Okay, stop. Uh, did you know you can manually stop the app from syncing? And uh, now I have uh, one notebook. Uh, with the user guide, with uh, all the manuals, in case I would need them. Okay. Uh, and here is the notebook uh, with my PDF articles I wanted to show you. Uh, it's happening, has quite large attachments, so it will take some time. S the settings here, nothing special. Um, yeah, general settings and backups. Okay, don't forget about the backups, by the way, especially if you have local notebooks in iPad outline, okay? So you can restore the sections from the backup and uh, don't forget uh, to check the settings of your iPad as well. Uh, backups are stored in your iCloud, so you need to uh, make sure you have outline enabled here. So it's iCloud, iCloud Drive, and then uh, check outline, outlines toggle. Okay, <coughs> and then the properties of the separate notebooks. You can change the location easily. Yeah, just make sure you're logged into your accounts. Uh, this one I can send to WebDAV. Okay, then you can change the format of this notebook from outline to OneNote. If you have your notebook, notebook in uh, OneNote format, you can open it uh, on Windows PC in uh, Microsoft uh, OneNote. Okay, you can also change the cover picture so quite easily. And now the PDFs. Uh, I usually send them from uh, Dropbox. Okay, here I have uh, this article, just set it, export, open in, and then input with outline. Well, quite easy. And another thing, you can also send to the PDFs of web pages. Uh, you need to, to send them first to your Dropbox, and then from Dropbox to outline. Well. You can do it in case you need the PDF of the web page. Yeah, again, export, opening, input with outline. Yeah. Okay, in outline, here is our new inbox. You need to drag, drop and, drag and drop the clipping from there to a page. You can print it out or Attach as an actual attachment. Okay, and another PDF I sent previously from Dropbox. Here you can print it as uh, split pages or you can print it on separate page. Okay, done. Great. So you can see all the pages, I'm not sure, maybe it's useful when you need to print like separate pages, I don't know, it's up to you. 
And here is the article. I've already started annotating, so let's continue. While well, there was a picture somewhere, just like drawing on pictures. Uh, okay, here it is. So I've started doing something, and here another one. Okay, so drawing mode. Yep. Then writing mode. Okay. Here it is. Well, sorry, I I, I write here with my fingers, so it's after all I don't really have good handwriting, so it doesn't matter for me. Uh okay, so I highlight the information. Uh, I make comments, and after finishing reading, I can export the whole file to PDF again, to have it everywhere. You can print it, or just let it be. Well, actually, I think it's, it's, it's such a shame. I didn't have something like that when I was still in the university. I needed to print the actual papers, uh, bringing them everywhere, well, total pain. Uh, send the file to the cloud again and take notes where they work best. 